ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hey, welcome to the barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. Praise God. I am here with you on the end of day eight. Praise God. Congratulations. We're going to move right on into the word. We are looking at Luke chapter 19, verse 27, where Jesus says, but these enemies of mine, and I said Jesus, even though this is a parable, we are referencing Jesus here. But these enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slay them in my presence. Praise God. And the title of the message today was Jesus is not friendly to his enemies. And I just want you to see that because anybody who turns their back on Jesus Christ, anybody who says that they don't want Jesus Christ to reign over them, anyone, hallelujah, who closed the door on Jesus Christ, understand when they leave this earth, what makes them think that Jesus Christ has an open door? They don't want to be in heaven. They don't want to be around Jesus, praise God. So that makes them an enemy of Jesus. Do you understand? That makes them an enemy, hallelujah. Anyone who is not for him is against him, praise God, because he is life and life more abundantly. So I just just wanted to share that with you all today. I know we are to love our neighbors as ourselves and we are going to continue to do that, but we don't have the rights from God to send anyone to hell, praise God. But guess what? Jesus has the keys, hallelujah. So we leave that in Jesus' hand, praise God. And so I just wanted to share that message with you today because it is so profound in what the Lord gave me, hallelujah. I pray that you have your uh, cracker. I pray, hallelujah, that you have your grape juice and we're gonna go ahead and move on into communion. We're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 11, starting at verse 23. And it reads, For I for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, thank you, Lord, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, this is the cup, the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread of eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord is an unwork in an unworthy manner, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in doing so, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats for he who eats and drinks and eats and drinks judgment to himself, if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason many among you are weak and sick, and a number sleep. Hallelujah. We just want to thank the Lord for communion today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for communion. We thank you for the fellowship. We thank you for bringing us together today, O oh Lord. We are so grateful for day eight and the accomplishment of day eight. May we move forward in doing what you are calling us to do in obedience in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I pray that you receive it and believe it. Just know that Jesus is not friendly to his enemies, those who turn their backs on him and will not recognize him as their lord and savior do you understand praise god they are enemies hallelujah and they don't want him reigning over them praise god and it's obvious of those people when we look around in the world who are not willing to follow jesus christ let's be obedient in this time let's consecrate let's pray and meditate on this word let's be children of god as we are called to be in jesus mighty name i love you with the love of christ praise god i am not going to be on here long just wanted to come in and close out this uh a prayer praise god this day with the seal of communion in Jesus mighty name. I love you with the love of Christ. Be blessed. Continue to be strong. Stay on the wall and I pray your strength. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Love y'all. Bye.